Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is day one of our 30 days of thankfulness. Uh, and I want to apologize for a video that went up in the wee hours of the morning and I had to take it down. I, I don't know if I pulled the wrong link or if YouTube did or what, but anyway, that video had already posted, so I had to redo and repost it this morning. So there's a bonus video right below this one that has posted up. But this is our day one of our 30 days of thankfulness. And what we're going to do today, I pulled this one out of the hat. It's Betty, let's see, nope, not that one, I'm sorry. That one, that one too, but not today. This is Gabby Aris, and she says, I would like to know, um, I would like to see how loaded envelope is made and ideas as to how to decorate it. Now, I had to do a lot of research on this because I have never done a loaded envelope before. I didn't even know that there was such a thing until I got to looking, and evidently they're pretty popular out there. I think they're they're com coming from the same thing as um, the little pocket pages and that kind of thing. Um, so I did a little research, but there was very few tutorials on how to make one. There was a couple that showed how to make one using an already pre-made envelope. There was one that showed how to make one um, using a paper bag and I didn't really care for either one of them. I wanted to be able to use paper that I have in my stash so I don't have to go out and buy anything. I don't like having to go buy something just when I want to create something really quick. So I'm going to give you my version of how to, how to make this. This is I don't know if this is what you're wanting, Gabby, or not, but this is going to be my version. And then also, Betty had asked, Betty Blevins had asked for some inexpensive favors for the Thanksgiving table. And she says, I love your videos. Thank you so much, Betty. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate both of those into this video. We're going to make a loaded envelope or envelope, ever how you want to say it. Here in Alabama we say envelope. And but I'm gonna make it out of with using Thanksgiving colors and using a thankful banner. So therefore you could make this in a smaller scale if you wanted to or make it this size and use it as a little favor on your Thanksgiving table. I did practice a little bit yesterday and this is just one that I kind of threw together really quickly. It has a pocket here and then there's pockets here where you can stuff things in them. If you wanted to use this for your Thanksgiving table, you could put some little favors in there and then maybe put them a little note in here thanking them for attending your Thanksgiving dinner and that kind of thing and you know just some little words of inspiration whatever but that this is just made from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper now like I said if you wanted to make this smaller you absolutely could this one turns out to be eight and a half by five and a half. So if you wanted to make something a little bit smaller, all you need to do is just cut your paper down and then, you know, go from there. So let's get started on this. You will start out with a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you're going to score at three and one quarter and at eight and three quarters. Then you're going to turn it one turn and you're going to score at eight and a half. Now, I scored that pretty deep and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to flip over and I'm going to score on this side. Just hopefully my paper will not crack. I get used to using cardstock and sometimes I get carried away when I use regular paper and I score it too deep. If it cracks, we're going to go ahead with it anyway and just go from there. All right, we're going to, and it's cracking, but that was that's my fault. Not the fault of the paper, it's my fault. So we're going to go ahead and fold this just like this. You see you have just a little bit of an overlap there. Okay, and then I'm just going to make sure that I've got it fold pretty even and it looks like I do and now this this 
little score line that you made down here, you're going to fold that part up. I'm going to use my bone folder very lightly. You see how my paper is already cracking on the side? I did it. It's my fault. So anyway, like I said, we're going to go ahead and go with it. All right, we're rolling on, even though we've got some cracks going on there. Because I think what she wanted was just to see how to make it, not necessarily to see <laughs> how I crack my paper. So... All right, now what you're going to do when you fold this up is you're going to have, the paper's going to be a little bit uneven, and that's just because you're folding in bulk, and the paper on the back side is not going to fold too even with the front. So just trim it off and make it even there. That's all you need to do. Now right here, okay, first off we're going to fold these back. Just don't fold them and crease them. Just fold them and kind of hold them like that. You can take your pencil, something round like that, and just kind of fold that paper, roll it like that. I think this rolling it is prettier. I saw some that was just folded back. I like that too, but I like the, the rolling part of it. And if you just roll it and kind of hold it for a second, that paper is going to hold its shape. So just like that. Now you can do that, or you can pull this paper back all the way back to the side like that and you can either you know tape this down hot glue it down whatever on that side so we'll just go ahead and do it this way and I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of hot glue under there I am out of the loop. I didn't realize that things like this had gotten so popular. I just don't do a lot of swaps because I don't have time. So, And I think these are mainly for swaps and that kind of thing. So, But I am more than happy to try to show you my version. Now I do kind of crease right up there at the top. And then just kind of hold that down for a second. So there's what you got at the top. And all of them that I saw had this little bit of fold like that at the top. Okay, and then you need to put some tape or something right in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some score tape because it will hold it down pretty good. I had someone that asked me, could I please move my camera down? I can move my camera down and I, I don't think on something like this you would want it moved down but I know what you're talking about when I'm coloring and that kind of thing yes I will be more than happy to zoom in my problem is I zoom in and I get busy and I forget to zoom out <laughs> and then I lose you because I end up d down here you know and the pictures up here so but I will try to be more conscious of that when I'm doing some close-up work and show you that all right, so there is that part. And now this folds up to make another pocket right here. Now you could do this two, two or three different ways. You could just put some tape on the sides right here, fold this over, and let, you know, you would have a pocket in the back and then one right here, so you'd have two pockets. But the ones that I saw were just, they just had one pocket there. And I think one pocket is going to be basically all that you're going to be able to probably feel because this thing's going to get pretty loaded. I guess that's why they call them loaded envelopes, huh? So I'm going to put another strip of my tape right down through here. Now I will put all of these measurements and a photo of this on my blog and my blog link will be right up here at the top. Now when you're folding this over, you're going to have to be kind of careful as to how you get that laid down there because you're going to have, this little pocket's going to have some, you know, it's going to have a little bit of 
gap in there and that's good because that way you can fill it full of goodies and I think that's what these are for so that you can fill them up for your friends and that kind of thing and swap them up so that's good if you have time for that go for it I wish I had time for it I really do I just don't okay so there we go with that and now we're going to do a little bit of decorating because basically that is your that is your envelope loaded envelope right there so now all you need to do is just do some decorating so we will start doing some decorating and kind of go from there I have this really pretty trim from our sister group lighthouse stop and shop and it's from Cindy Rosek and I will put the link for that shop below the video go over and check it out she has beautiful laces and trims and it is affiliated that group is also affiliated with our scrapbooking with me so go over and check that out all right we're going to put and I am using my hot glue just for time's sake you could use something else if you wanted to we're going to put that right there and I need to get my little hot glue helper here okay and now I think I'm going to put I'm going to run some around through here like that now this is one of those projects that you could I mean you do it just about any way that you want and you're going to customize it to the person that you're swapping with of course um, so you know this is like I said this is just my version of maybe a Thanksgiving one but if you have a partner that you're swapping with you would probably want to do it in their color you know whatever color they like I think we might run some of these little beads across this right across the top and I'm thinking that these came from Cindy as well now if you don't want that little bit of bulk or opening right there in your paper you can always trim the sides off and just when you fold it up so that you don't have that I kind of like it because if I'm going to put some things in this bottom part then it's going to need to be a little bit full where I can get it open okay trim that off Make sure that's pressed down well. I think I'm also going to run some right up here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some lace down the sides of this just to kind of hide where I cracked that paper there. You could use washi tape on this if you wanted to. Or you could just not crack your paper like I did. Then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, so there you go. You have your lace on there. And now, let's see. This is the point of you just start decorating the way that you want to I cut out some of these little doilies with a die that I had thinking I might put those right there and then put some other things on top and then I have this thankful that I want to put across here but I want to put something else down there first 
Okay, as you can see by my desk, I have all kinds of things out trying to figure out how I want to decorate this. That's my worst problem because I want to put everything on it and I end up putting too much. But I did cut some little swirls that I put right here. And then I'm going to put that there to kind of hide where I brought those swirls together. I put this little banner on there. It just says Thankful Heart. And then I think I'm going to put some of these flowers in the corners. And I'm not sure just that or if I want to put this under it. I think I'm going to put that under there. Because it's going to look... I want it to be fall. Look like fall. So... And, you know, this may not be your cup of tea of decorating, so you're going to have to decorate yours kind of the way that suits you. Because I don't do my decorating like everybody else does. Mine may, may be a lot more random than most. So, I'm going to put these in the corners. And where's my other flower? And all I did on these, these are just some flowers that I've had for a while. And I'm just clipping that little wire off. And I'm putting all this down with hot glue. Okay. Let's put that down. <clears throat> now I think I want to put this one down right there in the middle. Just kind of cover up where those two pieces come together. And then I'm going to put this butterfly right there in the center. And I'm just going to glue down just the middle part. Just like that. Okay, so we put that one over there. And now we need something right in here. Okay, and on this I just cut a few of those little pearls and put some hot glue on them and then just stuck that flower on there. From what I have seen on others on YouTube and things, these are really frou-frouied up. Now, I'm not a big frou-frou girl, so I may not be doing this anywhere near right, but we're going to go with it. So I'm going to use a few of these little leaves, and I'm going to tuck those in pretty tight under there. All of this is just things that was in my stash, so didn't buy anything. Okay, we're going to take the little stems that I cut off of those flowers. I'm going to take our everything tool and wrap it around. We're going to make some little vines to come out from under the flowers. See? And we'll put those right there, just kind of peeking out from under the flowers. See that? Right there. Right there. So don't throw those little strength, the little um, ends of your flowers away because you can use those. I think we'll do a couple more. And here again, just one more thing that this tool is good for. It makes it the perfect little wrap now on this my lettering what I did was I went over it with my white marker and just put some little stitch marks to help that stand out a little bit more and this is the Signo pigment ink and it is in white and then I also these were looking kind of flat 
and I so I also went over them and just put some little stitch marks on those to make those stand out a little bit. I did go around this with some stitch marks in gold because I wanted to bring this brown into all of this other to kind of make it all blend. And then I went around the butterfly with gold to kind of bring pop him up off the page. I can't pull him up a lot because I'm going to be you know putting things down in there but I, that brought him up off the page a little bit and kept him from looking so flat and then now I think it's time for some pearls we'll put some pearls on here so let me grab my pearls okay I think I'm gonna go with these rhinestones in that umber color because that's gonna bring all of these colors kind of together I don't want to do a white pearl since I really don't have any white on here. So for the center of the butterfly, I'll put those down there. And then I need something in the center of that, so I'm going to use one of these medium sized and I think that may be all I do to it like I said on YouTube and different places that I've seen them they were dolled up a whole lot more than this but I don't think I'm really gonna take mine any further I did see where they had taken just a little piece of paper and folded it and put maybe a little pocket right here and then put some little cards and things down through here so I'll do one of those right quick. This is cut at seven inches by six inches, and then I scored it in the middle at three and a half. And then these little pieces are cut at. I've got so much on my desk. These are cut at two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I'm just going to score them right here at the top. I need my little scoreboard. So I'm going to score at. I'm going to score at one and seven eighths, and that's going to give me just enough to fold over. Now this little pocket, I cut it at four and a half by three and a half, and then I folded a half inch over all the way around, like I do. And then made my little pocket. And I've got lots of videos on how to make these little pockets. We'll just go back a little ways. So all I'm going to do is, on that little flap, I am going to put just a little row of score tape. So we just put this little book together. And I gave you the measurement. 7 by 6, score in, a half, score in the middle at 3.5. And then I just put some little um, pages on it like this, that just waterfall pages, and just cut out some of those butterflies and put on there and just kind of antiqued around the edges. And then this is just a cut out from the paper collection. It has the pine cones and acorns, so I thought that was really fall. And that's just a butterfly that I cut out um, using some of the paper collection this same these two little tags I just stuffed down in there cut this out with a with my punch and then this is just a cut out that I put on there did this little header up here with my punch so that that's it on there and I just you know and then on the front this is just a cut out this from the paper collection and I just stuck it on the front and made it look like it was stuck on with washi tape and then that can go down inside. Now, this is where you could put lots and lots of other things in here. I know when I see them, when I see the pictures, they're just absolutely loaded. <laughs> Thus, loaded envelope. They're absolutely full of things stuffed down in every little nook and cranny. And that's great if you want to do that. I'm not going to continue to go on and do that on this one. Just simply because I am... You know, I don't know if I'm going to give this to someone or what. So, but 
and then two you have to decide how you want to decorate it if it's somebody you're swapping with how you know what they would want things like that but I think they're cute I really do now I didn't decorate the back of mine I saw that some of them had the back decorated I didn't decorate the back of it but you could certainly do that with no problem you could do some of the same things that you do on the front to kind of make that match up I think we will put a little bit of stickles on the flowers and that'll kind of make them pop a little bit better and I love stickles this one is diamond diamond it to me is the prettiest because it kind of takes on some different colors it pulls the it's like an iridescent that pulls the colors out of the air out of the air pulls the colors out from the surroundings I'm sorry I cannot talk and craft at the same time sometimes sometimes I have a problem with that but I'll show you the let's see there you go you can see the stickles the difference there that's it right there so the difference the stickles makes and you could also put a little bit on here and just work that around sometimes you just take your finger and put it on there show you this flower what a difference the stickles makes look at that and the leaves it makes a world of difference just stickles and these little things are very inexpensive but they're one of the best embellishing tools that you can have but this dresses it up a lot you can put something very very plain on there and then add your stickles and you'd be surprised what a difference and how much more elegant and dressed up it looks let me see if I can get my light in just the right area you see how what a difference that makes let me lay this down and zoom in and we'll see if you can see it that way yeah see that what a difference it makes just by adding a little stickles here and there makes a world of difference in what everything looks like and when these dry that glitter will be there but that is it that's all I'm gonna do to this like I said you can keep adding keep putting things in there just keep decorating it up whatever way that you want Gabby I hope this helped you and Betty I hope this gave you an idea of some of the things that you can do for your Thanksgiving table I think these would be super cute just to make them in a little bit smaller version and then you know put some things in there for your guest maybe a little note to them on the little book like this and then maybe some little candies or tissue or hand sanitizer whatever just put some of that down in here and then leave it there by their plate you could even put their fork and spoon and thing down in here and then put some of their goodies up there that would be cute too lots of different options that you could do with this um, I will be playing around with these more I enjoyed making it I really did so I will be playing around lots more with this okay that is our day one of our thankfulness to you guys for supporting us for being loyal members subscribers all of that kind of good stuff leaving comments everything giving me ideas of things to make today the code will be dots d-o-t-s dots this word right here d-o-t-s and to get to use that one let me zoom back out and move this the paper that we used in this today is from the Dots and Stripe collection from Echo Park. It is six 12 by 12 double sided papers in this pack and they're absolutely beautiful. They're all different colors. Let me show you the different colors. We have quite a few of these in stock and I'm going to offer them to you at a very, very discounted price. Okay, so there are all the colors. Let me fan these out for you. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that. 
This one, of course, is the teal. I may have it turned backwards like that. There's that side. And that is a foil that you see in here, just like the one that I just did. And then there's the other side, which is your solid. So these are beautiful. They are going to be at one half off from today till t tomorrow when I put the video up. So if you want one, go to the link that will be right here and it'll be right at the top of the page. It'll say Thankfulness Day One album and that's that's where you click and you'll see these paper packs. You'll see it where it says Dots and Stripes. You have to use the discount code DOTS, D-O-T-S, when you start to check out in order to get that discount, okay? All right, I think that is it. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Looking forward to another wonderful project. Not sure what we'll do tomorrow. I have a couple of things that are already started, so it'll be depending on which one I get finished. Talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.